Hey there, Danny here from One Minute Podcast Tips and Be A Better Podcaster. I was going to do a different video today and then I spotted something very cool that I think is very new. Uh, so I wanted to do that instead and you'll understand why when I do this video. <laughs> it's a bit of a, a, a long-winded way of saying this is a different video from the one I was going to do. I'll still be doing that video, but this one's a little bit different. So basically what it is, is... Um, Video podcasting, we all know YouTube is perfect and awesome for video podcasts and it's been the lead and it remains the lead podcasting platform when it comes to video or video podcasts. But obviously Spotify offers video as well, as does Apple Podcasts. They've done that since 2005, back in iTunes days. They don't really push it as a feature, but it is there and you can add video podcasts to that. But Spotify has been making a big push for the last like, two years, I believe, um, with video podcasting. However, to get on Spotify, to get your video podcast on Spotify, you either A, have to be directly with Spotify for podcasters and upload the video version and they'll create the audio version and let people using our app choose whether to watch the video or listen on the audio version. Um, if you're not with Spotify for podcasters, then you need to either be with a podcast host that supports video podcasting and will push it out you know, to Spotify or create a second feed purely for the video on Spotify for podcasters, which is separate from your audio feed. It's not ideal because now you've got two versions of the show. It's not a great experience. What's cool though, that seems to have changed. I was just logging into Spotify for podcasters, the podcaster portal, that's for podcasters that don't host with Spotify. So it's called the same thing. Spotify for podcasters is the hosting site. Spotify for podcasters is also the podcaster portal for non hosted for non-Spotify hosted shows. A little bit confusing. Anywho, I was logging into Spotify for podcasters because that was part of the video that this one was meant to be was looking at different analytics, etc. And as I say, that'll be the next video that comes out after this. But the cool thing that I noticed was Spotify for podcasters now allows you to add video versions of your episode to the audio version. So I'm going to share my screen and show you exactly what that looks like. Okay, so as you can see, this is your general Spotify for podcasters dashboard. If you're using it as a, a podcaster that's not on Spotify for podcasters. So obviously you'll get your usual analytics here, you get your episodes details and all the cool stuff that you get with Spotify for podcasters. And as you can see here on the format, it says audio. However, if you look now at the ellipsis where you've got the three little dots, I'm going to go to an episode where I made a video version because One Minute Podcast Tips is purely an audio only show. But what I tend to do is now and again, I'll make a video version of a specific episode. So it might be a popular episode or one that had a lot of questions afterwards and I want to do a follow-up, etc. Um, so I will do, now and again, I will do uh, a video version. So let's go down to this one, uh, why good mic technique is key to your podcast audio. And now you'll see, if I click the three little dots, I've got upload video. So once you get that, Spotify will show you this uh, instruction screen. So about video podcast, it will be available only on Spotify. The audio version will be available everywhere else. If you obviously push it out, if you're, if you're with Spotify for podcasters as a host and you push it out elsewhere, um, and the analytics for the video version will only be available on Spotify for podcasters. Makes sense. Much like YouTube, if you upload your audio only podcast to YouTube via RSS, you will only be able to see the analytics for that in Creator Studio over on YouTube. So supported file types is MP4 or MOV or MOVE. And then maximum length is 12 hours. Not sure who'd want to upload a 12-hour video or watch a 12-hour video, unless it's like the Star Wars collection movies or something like that. One thing to remember, much like YouTube, dynamically inserted ads or DAI won't be available for your video episode on Spotify. So much like YouTube asks you to remove them if you're ingesting your RSS feed, Spotify is pretty much the same. The feature does not support DAI insertion or the Spotify audience network. So if you're doing ads, etc. on Spotify, it won't support that either. But you can include pre-recorded ads in your video episode file. So baked in ads, for example, you can include them in there. So just a quick heads up on that if you do have ads on your show. Anyway, so it says select a file or drag and drop. So I'm going to bring over the video I created for this particular episode and just put it in there. So it uploads really fast, as you can see. So you can see here, uh, this is my two quick tips for better mic techniques. It's a slightly different uh, title because originally I set this up on YouTube, but I'm going to use the YouTube video file. I've downloaded it from YouTube as MP4. I'm going to upload it here. So now once you've got that, just check episode details. Does it contain explicit content? No, it doesn't. 
is a promotional content. So again, if it does, much like YouTube requires you to dis uh, disclose that so they can put up the little sponsored message ad, etc., whatever they put up on the message on YouTube videos, you have to, you know, call that out here. But this doesn't contain any paid promotion. So that's fine. So I'm going to go to next. And it tells me here, just a review of it. Before you continue, it will tell you that Spotify will try to help you uh, get your video to a wider audience. Um, so if you've got transcribe and translate, etc., and creating clips of your shows, that will be created um, by Spotify to help you with that. And it also asks, have you read Spotify's platform rules? I mean, generally no one reads these, but it just gives you guidelines as to what is allowed and what isn't allowed. Usual kind of community guidelines stuff. And let's hit publish. So you're done. Your video will be available to watch on Spotify soon. You can check its status on your episode list. Awesome. So one, it's processing. Two, it's publishing. And three, it's collecting analytics. So as it mentions, it can take up to 24 hours after the video is published to start seeing analytics for that. But I'm curious, um, I've never really watched videos on Spotify. I know on the mobile app, you have to you know, make some changes to your settings to ensure that you can watch video back. I'm curious if it does this on the play uh, on the web version. So if I go on a, a Chrome browser, not the desktop app, that's a bit different, but if I'm in a Chrome browser or Edge, etc., and I've got Spotify web opened, I'm curious if that will do that. Uh, but anywho, as I mentioned, that's all done really quick. So let's click done and let's just go check that status. So if I go down to mic technique, where it is here. So now you can see it's processing. So that's awesome. So once that's processed, we can go check and have a look at that. All right, so that's now processed. It took about two, three minutes to process, so it's not too bad, actually. It's not a super long video. I think it's maybe a four-minute video, if that. And as you can see, next to the title, I've now got video. So if I click into that, you can now see the analytics data has changed. So if you go back to the your general analytics, so it'll show you at the top, you've got your overview of your analytics on Spotify. And then if you look at an audio episode, it tells you roughly how many starts, streams, etc. you've got, consumption, episode performance over the last seven days, all that cool stuff that you normally expect to get on Spotify. But what it's now got, if I look at this episode for the mic technique, there we go, because it's video, it still has the same details and listener streams, etc. but now it's got video stats. Now, obviously, I've just published this, so it won't have any analytics at the moment, but once it does, I'm going to jump back in here and compare how the video does to the audio version. So as I say, what I want to do though is check to see if this actually appears on the Spotify web player. I'll check on the mobile app shortly, but I want to see if this appears on the web player because that'd be kind of cool. So if I look at my show on Spotify and now let's have a look on the episodes. Just going to have a quick refresh just in case I need to do a refresh on the browser. But let's just go down and have a look for the mic technique. So let's just see mic, mic, mic. Should really have a, like a nice little search option for Spotify. Maybe it does. I haven't really used the the web player that much. So there we go. So we've got uh, here we go. So if I open this up, oh, it does have video. That's kind of cool. Um, so if I press play, and now uh, you've got the hey video Danny version. here from One Minute Podcast Tips and Be a Better Podcaster. When it comes to your podcast audio, there are two ways to get really good audio from the off. That's awesome. The first one is to treat your room. So as you can see behind me, I've got some acoustic panels there and I've also got blankets that absorb it. And if I pause that, now we've got the audio version down here, which is kind of cool. So yeah, that's really neat. Um, obviously, I've still, <laughs> as you can see that by the pause screen, I've still got the YouTube uh, icons there. So maybe if I was doing this, I'd want to just, you know, tidy that up, etc. This was a quick test to show you what it looks like. But that's really cool that that appears in a web version now. And it's super easy to do with any episodes. If you go to your episode list and you've got any video versions of your audio only podcast click the little three ellipses upload a video and it's good to go and it just makes it super easy for any podcaster with any host to get a video version of the show up on spotify and that's pretty cool until the next time happy podcasting